To Genesco Sports CEO John Tatum, a former George W. Bush special assistant, Ron Christie. Uh, Christie, welcome to both of you guys. Um, all right. Obviously, you know, John, I know how this goes. I mean, about one side or the other is going to be annoyed. We thought for a while the Cowboys had found like the happy middle position by letting people kneel, owners included, before the national anthem, then all rising for the national anthem. That isn't apparently going to cut it. But if the NFL were to enforce just that, how do you think it would go down? Well, Neil, I think uh, the, the key here is to have a clear message coming out of the owners' meetings next week. So what is the policy? What is the clear policy? What are the rules? What are the implication for players that choose to exercise their individual rights and, and, and maybe use that stage as a form of protest? Um, I think that's what everybody needs coming out of these meetings. I know the NFL is going to work hard next week. Uh, they've got a lot of players coming in Tuesday, which is the off day, and uh, they're going to be talking to them about, right. you know, how do we come together because there's a, a 15 a uh, billion dollar a year business uh, called the NFL and the brand of pro football that uh, everybody has a collective interest in. So, Ron, to... what do you think of that middle ground that obviously Jerry Jones has, uh, has pushed President Bush, uh, I'm sorry, President Trump has praised. <laughs> I'm going back to your old boss. Uh, and, and this idea that uh, maybe if all players did that um, and didn't try to pull anything during the national anthem, uh, everything will be just ducky. Now, if, if the players or several don't go along with that, Jerry Jones has already said, well, you're benched for the game. I don't know with or without pay, but you're benched for the game. What do you think of that and how that would go down? Hey, Neil, I don't think there should be any middle ground here. We're talking about our flag. We're talking about our country. And we're talking about taking 60 seconds to show respect to both. If you look at the National Hockey League, my Capitals, they all stand at attention when the National Anthem's played. My Washington Nationals, go Nationals tonight, do the same thing. <laughs> so it shouldn't be that difficult, in my view, to stand for a minute and honor our country and honor the sacrifice of those who allow us to watch these sporting events and who have given the ultimate sacrifice. So, no, there should be no middle ground stand show respect keep your mouth shut and keep your political views to yourself all right um that might not go down well with some players john as you know and obviously they'll argue that point because that the flag and that anthem gives them that right to do just that uh where do you see this going well neil i i understand ron's uh point of view but there's two issues here there's the brand and the product and and the sport and uh, and then there's, you know, free speech and social issues. And it's ironic that you talk about Derek Jeter because the origin of the Star Spangled Banner being played is coming up on a 100-year anniversary. In the World Series of 1918, uh, the uh, Cubs played the Red Sox, and, uh, and we were at a time of war, and the playing of the national anthem was a very unifying thing. And I think about moments in history like the 25th Super Bowl in 1991 in Tampa when we were in the Gulf War, and uh, President 41, H.W. Bush, was, was in the office, and the greatest moment was Whitney Houston singing that national mm -hmm. anthem in front of all the players. I think about Ron's former boss, uh, the greatest uh, athletic endeavor by a uh, sitting president was game three of the World Series, Series, and I was there at Yankee Stadium when he threw that laser strike. And those moments, you think about the two biggest brands in sports, the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Yankees, and you think about those two owners, George Steinbrenner and Jerry Jones. They're very respectful of the players and players' issues, but they know their brand. And they know where the sport is, and they all know right. their customer and their audience. All right. So, so Ron, real quick, it's... real quick, if the, if you're still going with all of that, and you're still going to have players uh, opting to kneel during the national anthem, would you bench them? Would you support benching them? I would, Neil. I, I'm okay. not allowed when I teach at Georgetown University to walk into my classroom and take a social protest. That's a private institution. The NFL is a private league owned by private team owners, and I believe they should impose the right to make them stand. And it's sad that we actually have to have this conversation, that they wouldn't want to do this out of respect of our country.